I found a lot of connections between science and community and literature and all these things. And I didn't know what that looked like because in university, things are so departmental and very siloed. And so I didn't know how to choose one when I thought that everything was like connected. I knew that I kind of wanted to learn more about like health and the environment, but I didn't know what that looked like. And so I was thinking about food systems. I was thinking about anthropology, thinking about public health. Nothing felt very right until I found the urban planning undergrad called Community Environment and Planning, which was, yep, a student run major and everyone was focused on their own thing, but came together during core classes to talk about how, how communities and the environment um, come together and how to plan for better, better living spaces for everybody. Also a huge part of what sparked my interest in sustainability was going to Friday Harbor in 2021. Yeah, great. Great spot. UW has a satellite campus there um, that works on marine biology research. I'm in love with like field work, but also the place, like place-based education and trying to plan for a more sustainable Puget Sound. I think one of my biggest passions is just having a, a future environment for people on this planet um I think that's one of the like biggest things is that I don't want to be a part of something that disables other people um from having just like the right to live (laughs) and there are a lot of pressing topics and problems in the world but the climate crisis is definitely underlying of a lot of different ones everything becomes more exacerbated when um environmental issues become worse and or left un, um, unacknowledged. I would say that I didn't know what I wanted to do when I was in high school. I had a hard time knowing what was the right next step for me, um, whether that was yeah, going to community college or going to a small school, going to a big school. Um, I was deciding between kind of all of the above and didn't know yeah what the next steps might be. Um, I, I grew up in California for context. I had a lot of family in Seattle. My brothers lived here and we had some extended family here. And so I think what my reasoning was and like what helped me choose the next step was like, where where am I going to feel like safe, but mentally and like academically and, and challenged. I felt like at a big school like University of Washington, which I swear I ended up going, was excited to be around a, a super large and kind of diverse group at UW and know that I had to struggle and find my way and not have uh, all of the answers there. And so I was kind of excited about that. I think something that helped me was just talk to as many people as possible because and there's so many angles that you can contribute to working in sustainability and climate justice and um, the environmental field and serving communities. There's just so many ways um, that that manifests itself through a job. I always thought that working in kind of the environment, um, I needed to have a lot of step skills and like they're also important you don't have to force a certain like skill or something that you think is super necessary to work in a field I felt like I had a lot of skills that weren't in kind of more technical work um, and I had a lot more like skills in communication and writing and visuals and working with people so I think yeah not forcing anything and trying to find a place where you feel like you bring something that only you can bring.